Good morning. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Today is Tuesday, August 10th, and here's a look at commodities on the markets today. Oil is on the decline in early morning trade as worries about China's economic growth weigh down the energy market. Beijing reported that its July trade surplus surged unexpectedly to an 18-month high as domestic demand dwindled. Traders are also looking to the release of the Federal Reserve's statement following the FOMC meeting later in the day. Gold is lower as investors take a wait-and-see approach before the FOMC statement release. Many analysts expect the Fed to keep interest rates pat and keep the wording on monetary policy to be little changed. That is seen to keep the greenback weak, which in turn would increase the yellow metal's allure as an alternative asset since it makes dollar-priced commodities cheaper for holders of other currencies. As of early this morning, Brent crude is down over 1.5%, $79.71 a barrel. Light sweet crude down 1.3%, $80.43 a barrel. And natural gas down half a percent, $4.29 a million British thermal units. Gold is down four tenths of a percent, $1,198.38 an ounce. Silver is down by six tenths of a percent, $18.13 an ounce. And copper down 1.2% at $3.29 a pound. India's Oil and Natural Gas Corporation is looking to join forces with Russia's OAO Rosneft to be jointly for the Trebs and Titov fields in the Arctic North, according to Russian daily newspapers. Neither company has confirmed the report. Delta Petroleum Corporation reported its second quarter loss shrinking on the back of higher rig utilization and favorable pricing. The independent oil and gas group also sees production to increase to 7.2 billion cubic feet equivalent from 6.9 BCFE in the latter half of the fiscal year after accounting for sale of non-core assets to what PT Oil and Gas LLC in July. As for Canada's Transatlantic Petroleum Limited, it reported its second quarter loss widening as total costs and expenses nearly tripled from a year ago. In the mining sector, European Gold Fields Limited reported going into the red in the second quarter. CFO Tim Morgan Wynn expects the company to continue posting a loss this year but may return to a small profit next year. Archler Middle South Africa Limited said it will buy all shares in Imperial Crown Trading, which owns a portion of the prospecting rights in Kumba Iron or Limited's Shishan Mine. The Archler Middle unit will pay about $111 million to Imperial. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Those are your major headlines in the commodity sector this morning. For more news and market analysis throughout the day, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's Trade the Trend.